And my wife is here, baby, come. Uh, how this man from the village is husband to this beautiful woman is still something I don't know. But people, my wife and Marcy have become the best of friends. Brand new title that you forgot. First Lady Layata. <laughs> So, uh, we are now at the entrance of the shop, and uh, I hope everybody is rolling their camera. If you want to come and film this, we encourage you to come and see, because this is going to be interesting. Ladies and gentlemen, stand by. Uh, this is how we launch. I'd like everybody, please, remove your phone, switch it to camera mode. You need to record this, and you'll be able to record even from where you are. This is going to be a big celebration. So we'll ask Marcy to pick the scissors and go behind the ribbon that you're supposed to cut. Go behind the ribbon that you're supposed to cut. I come, uh, just go behind it and face us. Behind it and face us. And now I am going to count down, please. I hope. Your phone is... Uh, Jalas, you need to be part of that team there. We are waiting for you. Please go in. Burale, where is he? Yes, he's there. Just go in and face us this side. Yes. And ladies and gentlemen, after a lot of work and a lot of work, pure, endless nights, ladies and gentlemen, we now launch the brand new flagship at Imara Mall, Devine Collection! Devine Collection! Ladies and gentlemen, this is how we launch Devine Collection. And let us all go in. Yes. If you did not record that, ask someone to send it to you. Ladies and gentlemen, it's official. You can now get into the shop. This is a new flagship of the Vin Collection located right here at Imara Mall, the new mall and the brand new mall hosting the launch of Even if you are going live, uh, pl uh, please come. Uh, him. Okay. And we are cutting the cake. Let's give a big round of applause, DJ. The music should be up. Okay. Tangu kwe mweshimiwa. You see the reason why we couldn't give Burale? You can do it. You can do it. Yes. Ah. All right. Honorable. Jalas. Karibusa. Thank you so much. No, we've just left the, politi uh, the political field. And any time we see people like this, we go like, Wamama Hai. <laughs> Thank you so much. This is such a big achievement for Marcy. Marcy, I'm so proud of you. And uh, just remembering where we've come from, with I can only say that this is the work of God. Mas and I, we met in Langata at a joint. 
and she asked me, would you be able to advertise my clothes? I told her, why not? Osoro, please. We want to make very powerful speech here. Tell your people not to cut us off again. So it's been five, six years now, and I wear a hundred percent divine collection. And uh, anytime Mercy sees me wear something different, it is always a fight because I have amazing, amazing friends who also deal in the same. I'm seeing my sister Nenao Leshan is here. Nenao also, who is not competing with Mercy but complementing each other. It has never been a competition. It is always being there for your friends, appreciating when other people grow, and also making sure that you hold each other's hand as you grow. In this life, don't look at it as a competition. No one is competi uh, competing against you. Everybody is just competing against themselves. Each and every single day, wake up and ask yourself, are you yourself better than you are yesterday? Cindy, yes. as, we, as I stand here today, I want to say I'm so proud of you, Marcy. And uh, I was a guest of honor. You see, now when you become the MP, you become guest of honor. Things that I'm not used to. People call me Muesh. I don't know how people get used to those things, but I hope I'll get used to. And I know my suit that I'll wear on the day of my swearing in will come from Divine Collections. Sindio. And uh, I left Marcy and moved on and made sure that I'm not in her business anymore. So she became my wife's best friend. And my wife is here, baby, come. Uh, how this man from the village is husband to this beautiful woman is still something I don't know. But people, my wife and Marcy have become the best of friends. They work together. They do a lot of things together. And uh, to Mukesh and the team that owns the mall, how wish you find space for this beautiful woman here so that she can bring her hotel and restaurant here. It's called Wapek. It's one of the biggest restaurants in town, and she's the one who runs it. And on that note, with those so many words, I don't want to bore you. You know when politicians are given microphones, we like to disappoint people like Kino Soro, who are waiting for miracle to happen on Monday. It will not happen. Baba is the thief. Thank you so much. Thank you, guys. Yeah, it was going to get interesting like that. Now, uh, for you to have a successful business, um, Thank you, Chris. I have a brand new title that you forgot. First Lady Layata. <laughs> yeah. uh, thank you very much. Uh, thank you for this opportunity. Um, this day is about mercy. If I start talking about me, <laughs> I'm going to make it about me because uh, I have so much to say about me and I owe it all to mercy. But... Um, Yesterday, I had a very interesting story that I've had for a long time, but just by passing. Uh, but yesterday, it sank in, and it's a story about the eagle. They say that uh, when the eagle gets to 40 years old, it has to shed, uh, it has to go through a very painful uh, process to basically regain its agility, its fastness, and its strength. And... Um, what happens in this process is that it has to go onto a rock and hit its beak. So it's sort of like the beaks and uh, it gets a, a new beak. A new beak grows over time and it does the same to its clothes. So, and also its feathers, okay? So how can I relate this to Mercy? For you to move to the same level, there, you have to go through changes. And sometimes they're not, they're not going to be very comfortable. They're going to be very painful. And I, I can attest to this. Um, for us who've been with Mercy through this journey, it's been very painful. But who is Mercy? She's the eagle. She rose over everything. She soared. And we're here. 
doing a launch for this very uh, for, for the flagship of this very very luxe shop i can attest and assure you there's no shop that looks like this in kenya yet a round of applause to Masi. So Masi, congratulations. I'm very proud of you as a friend, as a sister, as a um, business partner. Uh, it's been a journey for you, and I know it's still going to be a journey for you, because after this, you've set the bar so high, not just for us, but for yourself as well. So the next shop has to be, I don't know, 10 times what you've done here. And I know you're going to make it. Through the circle of all your amazing friends and clients, we know they'll give you the support that you need. To the rest of us here, please let's uh, support Mercy as much as we can through you know, buying from her, uh, marketing her to our other friends who are probably not here, and also praying for her. Sisi watu wabiashara tunapitia. So, thank you very much. I'd not like to belabor everything that's been said here this uh, evening, uh, this afternoon. Uh, enjoy your, the rest of this event. I don't know whether she mentioned this, but she went in the person behind the interior design inside the shop. Yeah, so, you will see uh, what, what, once we launch. I need to. Oh, Moshimo is good to see you. <laughs> um, I studied her first, and before I work with somebody, I want to know their value system. And I had a meeting with her one time, and she kept on talking about empowering people. And I said, this is the person to work with. And um, at some point, Moshimo Osoro, people thought I was running for a, for a post because there was my billboard, Sakaja, and, uh, and, and Sifuna. But mine was the biggest, you know. So, Masi, I celebrate you. And, and every time you come for a function like this, don't just come and have fun and bite. And some people of the lawyers have come to eat. That's fine. But understand the grace upon a function that you look at her and then you look at her journey. And then you look at Jalango, look at Moshimo Soro, Moshimo Jalango and Moshimo Soro, and many other people, even Jobi here. Uh, you look at the journey and where they came from, then you understand that is a grace upon a function. So the portals are open in the heavens for you to tap into what covers the event and just, just don't live here with selfies. Live here understanding that there is a grace and there is a portal that is open that you connect into that so that two, three years from today, we also see you doing great things and then many people will come around a function to celebrate you. So as we look at divine, divine, right? Uh, D for me is don't accept nonsense, don't accept mediocrity. E is so like an eagle because the eye of an eagle is heavier than the brain of an eagle in weight. So vision is of absolute, absolute importance. V is always have the vava voom in everything you do. I is have the insight, foresight and hindsight. N, nonsense should be far away from you. And then E, let your works echo beyond where you are and people will celebrate you. God bless you. Congratulations. God bless. Thank you so much. Good evening. Oh, come on, guys. We're here for a beautiful launch. Good evening. Yeah, that's much better. Mercy, congratulations. I am so super proud of you. And um, before I get to the message I want to give you, Burale, now let me tell you about C. <laughs> I can't wait. Mercy, I really am so, so proud of you. This and I'm just hearing all the good things that people have to say about you. And I look at that table and I'm like, the future is so bright for young women. There's so many young girls who are looking up to us. And I'm so happy that they can see that it's not all about news, you know, undercover, that you can actually cut, build a brand, which is not easy, from grass, you know, to grace, and it actually is possible. So salute to you. I'm so, so proud of you and salute to all the other young women and men <laughs> who are trying to just, you know, raise the bar for so many people here in Kenya. And I've interacted with so many young people and most of the times they lose hope. They're just like, oh, Betty, you started like this. How can I ever get to you? But I feel like when we share our stories, they see that everything is actually possible. And so thank you so much. Continue doing you. And also, there's, there's so much... Um, interest when um, Real Housewives of Nairobi, that idea came about. 
And I was like, how about we have real boss babes of Nairobi? I'm an Yaje. <laughs> and so I'm so proud of you and congratulations. Thank you so much. I'm honored.